Hi, good evening, guys. My name is Sanjay Sharma, and today we are here to learn AI, artificial intelligence. Like uh, we all know, that exam is on twenty-five, as well as we have not yet covered the whole syllabus. So today, uh, we will try to cover AI, uh, NLP. The topic is human versus computer language. As well as we will discuss some uh, basic points that are. Lemmatization, text normalizations, okay, and then uh, tomorrow we'll discuss few things that are about to the main topic of the chapter that was bag of words and TFID, okay, and don't worry about your syllabus, guys. Uh, till Monday morning or Monday evening, we'll bind up all these syllabus, especially these two chapters, that as NLP and Evaluation. Then, from Monday onwards, on daily basis, we will do some sample papers, sample questions, as well as discussion. Clear. So all the best. Now, uh, be focused. Just because the very first exam is AI, where uh, some vocational courses are not ready. It is on twenty-five. So uh, till twenty, we will learn AI. We'll uh, learn the syllabus as well as revise the things, and then. Exam just before two days before the exam, we'll start a discussion-based uh, module, maybe on Google Meet on YouTube. Clear? So start for the today's topic. So this is today's topic: human language versus computer language. Human language is a language used by humans to interact with the pupils around them. is a language made up of syntax and semantics which is also known as the grammar of language which forms the words arrangement the arranged in a proper order to make a meaningful sentence so guys the language which we all are using maybe hindi english sanskrit french anything whatever language we are using for communication is normally human language okay So we required this topic just because uh, when we think about it, like uh, you all knows, maybe you have learned in previous classes as well as some class ninth also, like a uh, computer machine uh, which basically uh, have a language that is called binary language, having only two numbers or sorry two characters zero and one. Okay, but we human beings, we pupils, we have too many languages like Hindi, English, Punjabi, Gujarati. And many more, Bengali, many more. So the very first thing was when we start natural natural language processing, the question was: If still we are writing programs, we are writing instructions, then machine will work for us, okay, programming. But now we just want that we made something <clears throat> so that we can talk with the machines in our day-to-day language. That is basically human language. So very first we have taken a language that was English language. So we are talking about English language. How machine will able to learn? Okay. So before NLP till now, all language is something human language, which has two main part: syntax and semantics. Okay. We just make a combination of all these two, arrange the words in proper way so that it's our meaning. Okay. So this is human language. clear humans interact using different languages like english hindi spanish german for example in english we use nouns pronouns verb adjectives and many more part of the speech to make a proper sentence especially for the speech or a textual conversation so normally hamare paas hamari bhasha hai ek language hai jahan pe kuch characters hain kuch rules hain kuch protocols hain parts of speech and noun adverb there are too many things we just put together and then we will use it to communicate to share the information okay so this is human language now the next thing is computer language computer language is a language used by the programmers to develop a computer program which helps humans to interact with an electronic device computer computer interact in the form of binary language this is language having zeros and ones almost every machine works on the machine language it 
might be a smartphone, your laptop or something else. So uh, this machine knows only binary language and we people knows in English Punjabi. So communication can take place, can't take place. So we required someone which help us translate the course and we got language processor or in day to day use we got operating system. So this language processor like we know interpreter, compiler. So they help us to basically convert our program to machine language so that machine can understand. So normally if we would just say uh, कि भाई ये कोडिंग है क्या हाउ इट्स वर्क्स है ना प्रोग्रामिंग क्या है सिंपली uh, जैसे हम लोग घर पे होते हैं वी जस्ट रिक्वायर समथिंग मामा कैन यू गिव मी अ ग्लास ऑफ वाटर ओके नॉर्मली वी विल आस्क एंड देन इफ मामा इज फ्री देन दे विल गिव यू एल्स नो सो सेम वे इफ वी जस्ट वांट दैट कंप्यूटर और द मशीन विल परफॉर्म अ टास्क फॉर यू कोई भी कंप्यूटर कोई मशीन आपके लिए कोई काम करे सो so, आपको क्या करना पड़ेगा आपको उसको कुछ इंस्ट्रक्शंस देने पड़ेंगे ओके okay? वो इंस्ट्रक्शन किस में चाहिए उस लैंग्वेज में जिसको कंप्यूटर समझ पा ठीक है सो नाउ दिस कंप्यूटर वर्क्स ऑन बाइनरी लैंग्वेज एंड वी नो इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज सो वी कैन नॉट कम्युनिकेट परफेक्ट अब इफ नाउ इफ वी कैन नॉट कम्युनिकेट देन हाउ वी विल ट्रांसफर आवर इंस्ट्रक्शंस हाउ मशीन विल वर्क्स सो दिस टास्क डन विद द हेल्प ऑफ प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज लाइक सी सी प्लस प्लस जावा पाइथन विल राइट द इंस्ट्रक्शंस इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज वी राइट द होल प्रोग्राम इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज एंड देन लैंग्वेज Processor, interpreter, compiler, convert to binary, and then machine will execute it. This is the process to communicate with the machines. Copy clear. So now we are learning NLP. NLP means we are going to make machine smart so that machine can understand our day-to-day -day life instructions. That is basically in English or NLP. This topic about that. So what is syntax and semantics of a language? Like in English language, we have a lot of rules, part of speech, noun, pronouns, verbs, and many more. So all these things is syntax and semantics. Perfect. Like uh, we use present, past, future tense. We have a full, full stop and question marks. We have exclamatory marks, double quotes, and many more. So each and every rule and syntax, writing syntax is different. We will make every uh, first character in the capitals. so all these things this arrangement this rules is basically called syntax and semantics the proper arrangement of a word in a sentence or a statement makes the syntax of a language writing rules like if you learn python in class 9 if you write print without parentheses or some other type of brackets so we got a syntax error syntax means we just break a writing rule for example if we write a uh, who are you and then Put a full stop there. This is a syntax error. Just because the, this is a question based type of sentence, you need to put a question mark after it. But if you don't do so, you got zero marks, a uh, error, and this is called syntax error. So arrangement of arrangement of a word in a sentence is called syntax. Semantics refers to the meaning of the word in a sentence, which helps in interpreting the proper message of the complete. structure of our words this is called semantics multiple meaning of the word in english language yes it's a problem so we just uh, listen very carefully when we just started that machine will able to you know communicate with us they will start learn with us if we want something they are able to answer it so the very first problem was like we all are human beings clear and we have too many type of languages okay hindi english punjabi तो so प्रॉब्लम क्या है uh, हम भी जो बात करेंगे मशीन को बहुत कंफ्यूजन होगा कि क्या करें किसको समझे इट वाज अ मेजर प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट तो व्हाट वी हैव डन वेरी फर्स्ट वी हैव टेकन इंग्लिश ओके नाउ वी विल यू नो इंटरेक्ट विद मशीन्स इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज सो वी हैव चूजन इंग्लिश बट स्टिल वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम द वेरी फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम वाज मीनिंग देयर आर टू मेनी वर्ड्स व्हिच हैव द सेम मीनिंग्स एंड देयर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट यूज लाइक हिज फ्यूचर इज वेरी ब्राइट to the dust sun is very bright in the previous sentence the meaning of very bright is different and the second sentence the meaning of very bright is again different second thing pronunciation it's very wrong someone said b4 someone said b4 then uh writing skills someone write in short b4 b and number 4 some write b i f o r e b4 then someone b e4 as well as there are a lot of problems 
when we started about investing in issue. So how this NLP works, what are the steps, how this uh, Alexa or Google process the uh, query of the uh, questions which we have uh, asked to them. So we'll learn in this topic. Okay. Analogy with the programming language, it is same like we have discussed in English language. Analogy with the programming language in any programming language, we come across few statements where we have different syntax but same meaning. Like print 10 plus 20, it will print 30. Print 20 plus 10, it will also print 30. It was a problem for the machine. Okay. Same syntax with different meaning. Like print 4 upon 2, it will give you 2. In Python 2.7. But when we are talking about 3.0, it will provide 2.0. So syntax is same, but the meaning is different. The very first give you a teaser and then we got a plot. So meaning is different. Correct syntax with no meaning. In English also, we have made few sentences having all these things together with uh, following all rules and syntax, but it might possible to send us away meaning now. Like print double quotes. Correct syntax is right, but if you run it, you got nothing. This is correct syntax with no meaning. You have followed all the rules, parentheses there, code is correct, but the problem is no meaning. What it will print? Print dono brackets me is kush likha hai. Parentheses are blank. So this is correct syntax with no meaning. So uh, it was today's topic. I hope you will understand. Tomorrow uh, I will try to complete this video today only and then uh, this video will be uploaded at uh, in the morning. In the morning you got it around 10 a.m. Okay. Or maybe 8 a.m. I will fix it at 8 p.m. 8 a.m. Sorry. So 8 a.m. you got this video in which we have discussed data processing, text processing, streaming and lemma In the previous topic what we have discussed the very important thing is that was binary language and English language and we got two topics from there syntax and semantics it might be asked in one month syntax means arrangement of words in a sentence is called syntax and then second one is semantics okay. this is the main important topic from there as well as uh, tomorrow 10 a.m. we got video this, this video which I'm going to uh, make right now maybe one more video just because I was busy just uh, for three four days just because of having ATL community day celebration in the ATL marathon. I hope you have seen that videos. So uh, tomorrow you got uh, this video that, that is on data processing in which we have learning uh, text processing and all these things. Very important topic. Very very important topic. Okay. Then uh, in the evening you got one more topic that was uh, bag of words. Okay. It's required some you know hands on exercise. Okay, so I will make a video uh, by doing it on paper or somewhere else. Okay. If any query in this topic, you can text me, you can WhatsApp me on this number. Okay, thank you so much. If not subscribed, please subscribe, like the video.